All right, what's up, guys? Got a quick video here. I've uh, been wanting to do this video for the past maybe three days. Um, just kidding, for like the past day. Just because I'm ready to get my lid back on. But what this video is about is a speed feed that I bought from uh, Poop Daddy's friend um, for five dollars. And is it worth it? Yes, it's worth five dollars. But that's it. Um, if he was charging some ridiculous price, like um, like maybe like ten or fifteen, then I'd say no. But this is worth five dollars. Um, so basically, I'll show you right now how it feeds. When you first, this is the lightning load too. So basically, this is the the one that's easier to feed. Um, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. So let me see if I can get a this time. All right, so basically, you just install it the same way you'd install a die quick feed. Um, just like with the little holes inside, it doesn't come with holes. You just sit it on top and put it on top. So it doesn't feed too bad. I mean, give it a little shake and you got them pretty much all in there. But, um, you know. All right, so that's that. The feeding, I would give it um, a, a C plus B minus on the feeding. Just because you have to give it that extra, you know. But holding the balls is what's a really good, a real, like a plus. Let me see if I can. All right, you're not gonna be really doing any of that while you're playing. You're not gonna be like holding it upside down, shaking it around. But this this does hold balls really well. And this is the lightning load too. The the one that's that's um, easier to feed and supposedly easier to let balls go. But um, but surprisingly, it holds balls really, really, really well. Um, so five dollar investment, go for it. Um, but the reason I'm ready to put my lid back on it, I don't know if it's the way I installed it, but let's see if I can show you. Um, after a day of play, um, right around this area, the speed feed started to rip. Uh, well, it started to come out through the t um, hopper, so I'm not sure if you can see that, but it started to come out. So, um, I'm just ready to get my, I'm just going to take it out right now, because I'm ready to get my, my, my rotor lid back on it. Um, five dollars, good five dollars spent. Um, it helped me out while I was in the snake. Um, helped me out during a few one v ones. But um, I don't know. I'm just gonna put my tank back on my, uh, my my lid back on it because I don't know. I don't know if it was just me, but mine started to rip. So let's get up. See how quick we can do this. The rotor might have low batteries. I don't know. All right, so there's my quick review on that. Um, like I said, I give this an overall, I give it an A plus for holding the balls in, especially because it's the lightning load two. He also saw the lightning load one, which is um, which which is hard to feed, I guess. I guess, but it holds balls much better. Um, but um, I give this lightning load two an A plus for holding the balls in. Oh, gosh, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a big no homo. For this video because there's a lot of uh you know but um yeah holds balls really well um feeding the balls eh, maybe let it break in i would have let mine break in but i unfortunately mine started to rip on me so didn't have much time for it to break in because i played with it one day so um thanks for watching five dollars um is it worth it yes but I suggest you buy more than one because you can expect that to happen to yours, possibly. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.